All right, today I want to talk about the decode attribute that you can put in image tags. Now this builds on what I was talking about in my previous video about the loading attribute that you can put into image elements to make them lazy load. If you want to see that video, the link is right there at the top of the screen. So what is the decode attribute and the decode method? Well, the decode attribute is something that's going to give you the ability to use another thread to actually decode the image. So downloading the image, lazy loading helps us manage that. So if I have a whole bunch of images on my page, like here, for example, I have four images up at the top. These are actually high res images, these color ones. And then below that, I've got a couple of low res black and white ones. You can see the size difference. These range from 493 kilobytes to 4.9 megabytes. So a fair bit now, if I was actually building a website, I wouldn't be using images that were 4.3 or 4.9 megabytes as part of my content on the page. If it was an image website and I wanted to have high quality images, sure, we can do that. But just to render an image as part of the page, I wouldn't be using images this size. But it's, it's going to help to illustrate the point about having a low quality and a high quality one and using both the loading and the decode attributes. So these two ones that I've got here at the bottom, they're black and white. They're really small images, 31K. So I've got those here. And in my HTML, you can see that once at the top, I'm using loading eager for the top four images. And then below that, there's eight more images that all have loading set to lazy, decode set to async. The possible values for this we can have in here are going to be decode is auto, which is the default, which is leave it entirely up to the browser, how it handles the decoding of the image. The decoding is once you've downloaded the file, you actually have to, your browser actually has to read the file and convert it into something that can be displayed. That's the decoding process. So take the compressed data, turn it into the display image. So we can do auto, leave it up to the browser. That's the default. If you don't have this attribute, that's what's going to happen. It can be synchronous or asynchronous. Now, the difference between these two, sync, make it part of the main thread that's doing everything. Async, put it onto its own thread and let it be handled and then let us know when it's going to be ready. So on a, a lower end device, if it's got the ability to fire up a second thread and handle decoding of an image, that's actually going to improve the performance for you. So I've set these all to async. In my script, what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage this process as well. Right now, all I'm doing is I'm looking for the DOM content loaded event and the load event on the window. This is going to let me know when I've got all the images that aren't lazy load images. Those are all loaded, plus the HTML, the CSS, the JavaScript. And up here, DOM content loaded, the HTML is ready. And I have added here listeners for any image that has loading set to lazy. So I'm looping through those and I'm just listening for the load event on each one of those images. So I'm using a for each loop to loop through all the images that are lazy. When they load, I'm going to write this message out and I'm going to actually put an attribute inside of the image element itself to say, hey, I've loaded the, the low res one. So if at some point I want to look at that in my script, I can do that. I've got some sort of reference for it. So I jump back to the console here. We'll see, okay, there we got the HTML and we got the load event has fired as well. And in between those two things happening, we loaded all the four main eager images plus the two black and white low res ones. So I have loaded two of those, and those were the ones that we could see in the network tab. So the four color and the two black and white, these are the lazy load ones. So that's happened. Fantastic. We've got that. And because I used lazy load for all the black and white, as I scroll, it's going to tell me, Hey, okay. We're loading more and more and more of these low res images. We're downloading them. We're decoding them and we're displaying them on the page. So while that's happening, the decoding is happening asynchronously. The loading is happening as we scroll down the page with the lazy load. We're leaving it up to the browser to decide when it wants to start doing the load. 
Great. So that works. That's the HTML side of it. Now, decode in the JavaScript, because I have such a big difference here between these, if I were to, in the, the file size I'm talking about, if I were to go to the network tab here and throttle my connection, so I'm going to reduce the speed. Let's go down to a 3G connection. And then these images right here, even though they're only 30K, there is going to be a delay. So when I refresh my page and load this, those first color images, those are going to take a while. But even the black and white ones, you can see it's taking a little bit of time for them to come into play, to be visible. If I turn the throttling off, here, I'll go back to the top and refresh this. There's the default ones. I'll turn the throttling on now so we don't have to wait for those top ones. And we can see as I scroll down, the lazy load's going to kick in. And we can actually see these drop in. But it is taking a little bit of time, even for those on slower connections. But I can use this now as a trigger. Once the lazy load has triggered the request for the black and white low res image, it comes back. I can listen for the load event. When the load event for the low res version has fired, I can say, okay, now's a good time for me to asynchronously go and try and get and decode all of these other images. So that's where this um, decode method, where that comes into play. So right here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new image element and we're going to try to load the high res version of each of these images. So right here, we're looping through all of the lazy loaded ones, listening on each one of those for the load event. So when the load event has happened, I've got the low res version. Now is when I'm going to start to go and get the high res version. So we'll, say, we'll create a new one, new image. And we could have done document create element image does the exact same thing, but I'm creating an image. This isn't one that's on the screen. This is off screen that I'm creating this image and I'm going to set its source equal to the same as this, but I'm going to strip out the names. If we look in here at how they're named, this is just something that I've done for, for this page. So pexels 12, that's the high res version. The low res version is pexels dash low dash 12. So just the word low in the middle, we're going to remove the word low and use that as the URL for the new one. So I'm going to get this, which is going to include the word low and just use the string replace method. Find low and replace it with just the hyphen. So that's the high res URL that we're getting. Now I'm going to say decode, and this returns a promise to us, which means I can chain a then method onto this. So setting the source, that's what triggers the download. And then immediately after that, I'm saying, I want to do decode, and this is going to do it asynchronously for us. The fact that it's a promise is really what makes this thing asynchronous. So it's running on its own little thread. It's going to decode that image when it comes down. When it's finished downloading, it's going to do the decoding. At that point, I'm going to get my new URL so I can write it out. All right, so we're just writing out a message here to say, yeah, I finished decoding it. So I've got the big one. The low res one at this point is still going to be on the screen. So just to illustrate that, we'll come back here. Here, let it go back to no throttling. So we get the, the big ones first. There we go. We can throttle for the smaller ones. And as I go down through this, you can see finishing loading all the low res. And that's triggering the downloads for the larger images. But it's still going to take some time. If I come back to the network tab, we can see it is trying to download the full 
res versions here, but it's taking a little bit of time because of the speed of our connection, because we're throttling it. So it's going to take a little bit of time to finish downloading them. Once it finishes downloading them, then we're going to start to see this. Okay, finish decoding this. So this is number six that has been decoded. If we come up, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one right here, we have a decoded version of this and now number eight as well. Those two images, we have decoded versions of them, but we haven't put them onto the screen. What we want to do is we want to replace this version with the real one. So we'll jump back to our code to do that. Inside of here, when I reach the point that I have decoded it, now image, that's the one that we're looping through here. That's the one that is on the page. I'm going to take that element and I'm going to call replace with, which is a DOM method to replace one node with another. And it's this new image that I created. So this I is the new one that I just created. I'm going to replace the one that's on the page with this one. And at that point, I'm also going to add a message in here into the, I'm going to create an attribute on the brand new one called data loaded. It was set to low before. I have to create it again because I've got a brand new image element, but I'm going to set it to high decoded. And we can also listen for the load event on these as, as well. So right here, and we can listen for the error event too. Inside of this, just going to do the same thing that I was up here with the message but I'm going to write out that I finished downloading the real one. Here's the URL and we're setting data loaded to high. So at this point it's downloaded. And then right after that, it should take very little time to actually decode it and change the value to this. All right, so that's saved. We'll jump back in here, go to the network, put us back up to full speed, refresh the page. Okay, there we go. We have now, Number five, the low res and the high res. So both of those, the lazy loading did the five. It looked at the page and said, okay, we should get at least the first of the low lazy loading ones. So the low res lazy loaded black and white image, that one is fetched. And when that finished loading, that was the trigger for us to come in here and say, let's get the high res one. So. Sure enough, we got the low res one. We loaded the real one. And at that point, that's when the DOM content or the load event for the window object was able to fire. So all the initial requests have been met. And then we did our asynchronous decoding of that, of the one that was downloaded. So as I scroll down the page now, let's go back and throttle this so we can watch it a little bit slower. As we move down the page, we should see the black and white low res ones loading. And then right after that, it should attempt to start the high res one. Okay, there we go. So six and seven, the low res ones have been triggered. When they're ready, that will trigger the downloading. There we go. There's number six is finished. It's downloaded and decoded. And then number seven will happen. There we go. There it is. So you can watch this in the network tab to see it happening as we scroll all the low res ones. And then it's starting the high res ones, but these are all black and white. We can see that one's color. That's number seven, I think number eight here. And we'll see these switch over to color images once they're ready. So low res, low res, low res. Number seven was the last downloaded and decoded real one. And so we should see number eight and nine coming up here momentarily. But this is what we're doing is we're trying to make our page run more efficiently, work a little bit better when it's a slower connection. So we're providing a low res image that can be loaded fairly quickly. We're still using decode set to async to try and offload from the main thread some of the work. And then we're calling the decode method on the real one. The lazy load finishing is the trigger for us to start trying to get the real one. 
but it doesn't matter at this point if we still have a black and white one and then at some point it's changing to a higher res better quality color version of our image all right so if you have any questions about that feel free to ask that down below i'll answer as many as i have time for if you're looking for a copy of all this code there's a link to the code repository down in the description um, i'll also provide links here's the support table you can see it's pretty much everywhere that is support for the html element for decoding and anywhere that has promises will also support the decode method and i'll provide a link to the decode method in here and if you're looking for the decoding attribute it's right in here as well okay as always thanks for watching